don't know, one of the quickest ways into real estate investing is partnering with someone that already knows the business. Okay, now I do this myself, um, so I wanted to simply go over a few things that you should be thinking about when you're partnering with people. From the last um, Home Loans for Everyone event, we actually had a student who successfully got a subject to deal, um, a, a taking over mortgages deal, a no money, no kind of credit, no proof of income kind of deal under contract. And I'm partnering with him so we can make money together. So I wanted to help you so you guys can think about things that you can put in place or think about beforehand to make sure your partnership is successful. Let's get into it. What's up guys, it's your boy, Sawan Belcher. This is me taking action. Um, I'm a full-time real estate investor here in Greensboro, North Carolina, and today we're gonna talk about one of the partnerships, my first partnership um, that I'm making down in Texas, okay? This deal is actually in um, like Austin, Austin, Texas. And so from what I understand, where we're buying it is between Austin and Waco. I don't know too much about uh, Texas, but if you guys are from the area, uh, if, you're, if you're in that, that gun-friendly state, go ahead and put some flames down in the comments um so we're doing the deal in 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 austin which is a first for me i've never done a deal in texas i typically only stay in little old greensboro winston-salem like the triad of north carolina so this is completely different for me you know but i but i ran my mouth on my last training because it was so good that I wanted to guarantee my student success and I was willing to do whatever I had to do to make sure my students were successful. Uh, you know, when you went from the home loans for everyone um, uh, training to the uh, three month mentorship, I said, hey, I'll be your partner on it. I'll give you guys the money to do that deal. So I opened up my mouth and uh, surely enough, we had um, one team uh, uh, Mr. Saunders, I think Building Equity Investments is the name of his, his company. I'm partnering with them on a property down there. So, so I, I think the most important part about a partnership is that you guys have the same goal in mind. Okay, because in real estate, you have so many things that you can do, right? You can rent the property long term, you know, where someone is renting the property from you every month. Um, the business is responsible for maintenance and insurance and mortgage, you know, um, um, and there's a tenant there that's just paying rent to live there for a year or two years, right? We could rent the property short term where the owner, you know, us, the business would have to incur more expense because now we'd be furnishing the property and more responsibility because we'd have to have internet and, you know, and cleaning service and things like that. Right. Um, you know, or the goal of making money in this real estate transaction could be, hey, well, let's just find a tenant buyer who's going to promise to buy it from us, bring us a down payment. Now the company gets paid up front. OK, that we own together. And then uh, now the company that owns the property gets paid every month. And then now the company gets paid. So out of all of these different agreements, your partner has to be on the same page as you. You guys have to have the same goal in mind. Once you guys are off the same track and literally that goal changes for some reason, now the partnership spreads apart because now you guys aren't moving towards the same goal in the same direction. Okay, so you guys gotta have the same goal. What we're gonna do with this property, uh, since it is a new construction property, we're actually gonna buy it, okay? Uh, the seller is already moving out. We're buying it subject to, so we're taking over payments. Uh, my, you know, myself, my company, uh, we're actually gonna bring the money to fund the transaction. So we're gonna fund the transaction. We're actually gonna pay for um, the arrears for the seller. We're gonna pay for the closing costs, um, pay for the upfront cost of the insurance. We're gonna pay for any little minor stuff that needs to be done. And, uh, and that needs to be spelled out. So great, you got your goal, you know exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna buy the property, you're gonna buy it as is, do a little touch up, and you're gonna sell it on the MLS with the realtor. Now, what are the responsibilities of each partnership? Please, please, please write this out, okay? It needs to be in some form of paper, some form of operating agreement, some form of trust, some form of trust, a promissory note, stamped by a notary or written up by an attorney. Now this part is so important. 
What is this partner's responsibilities? What is this partner's responsibilities? What happens when this partner doesn't do their responsibility, their, their, their role, you know? What if this person doesn't ex execute their role? Matter of fact, what if after X amount of time, our, our goal, our exit strategy doesn't work, what happens at that point? Um, that is so important because when you have those conversations up front, knowing that it's a very high probability that it might take longer than three months to sell. So what happens if we sell it in six months? What happens if it doesn't, what happens if it takes 12 months and it still hasn't sold? What do we do then? If you guys have that discussed and, 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 you know, and in writing and agreed upon up front, you know, then is already in writing. We already have a surefire way of what we're going to do. A big part of that uh, goals and uh, the goal and the responsibility of the partnership is, you know, how much of the entity um, will each partner own, okay? Um, go ahead and knock that out the bag because you guys don't want to not say that and not agree on it. And that means that once you sign those papers, it's 50-50. But really, somebody need to be in control. Somebody needs to have more ownership because somebody is going to have more responsibility you know, we're gonna need to have more control than the other. That's just the way it is. So I suggest that you definitely do that, okay? And then is I know that I wanna make sure my money is safe, okay? Uh, Cause this money is coming from one of my other partnerships, you know? So I'm thinking I need to make sure my money is safe and that we get our money back first before profit split. So I have that put in the agreement. And I, and I also have buyout clause put in the agreement just in case 12 months, what if my student is like, man, it's been 12 months, we haven't gotten paid, I really need to get paid. We have a buyout agreement for each for each partnership. So that way, if each partner doesn't wanna um, uphold their responsibility, they just wanna be done, there's a certain buyout that they can get in order to just be done with the process. And then that um, owner who chooses to stay, right, That um, that buys the other person out, that pays them to leave, now that person gets 100% ownership. All of this stuff needs to be spoken about up front. Who's gonna manage the accounts? Who's gonna have access to the account? Who can sign for each other? Or who cannot do any of those things, okay? I think that is super successful. I think that's super mandatory to make sure that your business partnership is successful, okay? Now, lastly, is you need a detailed plan, okay? I'm pretty sure there's a Bible verse about it. And if you guys know the Bible, Bible verse is talking about planning, whether that's the, you know, fulfillment of planning or whether that's not planning, you guys put down the scripture below uh, <laughs> that references planning. Because if you plan well, okay? If you plan well, if you can plan so well, you can see it before it even happens, I promise it's, it's more likely to happen if you can see it. You know, if you do not plan, whatever, whoever else wants for you will happen, okay? Because that's how planning goes. You know, if you happen to plan, you, where you, you know, the actions you take will take you through your plan. If you don't plan, then whoever else's actions who is planning will drag you by the wayside and take you through whatever they want to take you through. Whatever, you know, whether that's water, dirt, mud, or rain or shine. So, you know, you need to have a plan, okay? So in this particular case, I'm coming up with a, a three month plan, a six month plan, a nine month plan and a 12 month plan. And then, like I said, I'm also putting in a clause that if this doesn't happen by this time, here's what we're gonna do. Having that plan is so essential because then you'll know exactly how much money you're gonna make. So if we're gonna plan to hold it for 12 months, there's gonna be mortgages, there's gonna be you know, um, Duke Energy for power on the house, there's gonna be water, there's gonna be gas, you know, uh, we're gonna have to have another cleaning, of course, because there's gonna you know, be people walking through. Um, you know what I mean? We're gonna have to change the lock so that way nobody can get in who might have a key, you know. Uh, you know, you just need to plan, you need to plan for these things. So I'm not saying that you should not partner. What I'm saying is you need to partner because honestly, partnerships allow you to go so much faster, you know, so much further faster. And, and, this is, and this is the basic concept of why, okay? I can work X amount of hours a week. You can work X amount of hours a week, okay? And, and at the end of the day, we both 
run out of hours. Okay, we both run out of hours. But if you and I are working on the same thing, right, together with one goal, now we now together we have doubled our hours of work. So essentially, you'll be, you know, you'll have more success when you find the right partner. Okay, so it's I don't want you to stay away from partnerships. I just want you to set yourself up so that way you can have a successful partnership so you can do it again and again and again. And you can use real estate to throw off money every day, maybe every other week, maybe every month. That's all up to you. But here, right here on the This Is Me Taking YouTube channel, we talk about how you can use real estate to create daily income. Okay, we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.